Hey everybody, this is Praxis. In this video, I'm sharing with you a solution to a problem of potentially having an earthquake destroy all the food in your pantry. Here in New England, we don't tend to have a lot of earthquakes. They do happen occasionally, but it's not a major fixture of life here in New England in the same way that maybe tornadoes are in the mid, uh, Midwestern United States. Not something we tend to deal with, but never say never when you're a prepper. And it's been weighing on my mind for a while that I've got all this food on shelves and glass and metal and many feet above the hard concrete floor. And if there ever was an earthquake, a lot of this stuff would just get destroyed. And if there was a regional disaster, that's exactly when you don't want all your pantry food to be destroyed, like right when you actually need it. So I've been thinking for a while how to, to address this. I, you know, Obviously, I could put cupboard doors here, but that'd be expensive to make uh, huge cupboard doors. They'd also kind of get in the way as you're trying to work in here. And I came up with a solution of just putting boards across so things can't rattle off the shelf anymore. And the way that I'm hooking these on here is this item right here. And this is what this video is about. These brackets are something I designed and they can be 3D printed. I'm going to put a link down in the description below if you would like to print out your own. Uh, this is an example of one of them right here. Um, I put the link to my Patreon page where I can offer files for download. If you're a Patreon member already, they'll just be there for free. Uh, if uh, you're anybody else, uh, the lowest price that I'm allowed to uh, charge for downloads is $3. So I guess it'll be $3 over there if you want to download this and then print off as many as you like. If you don't own a 3D printer and you would like to get some of these, you know, write me at praxisprepper at gmail.com and maybe we can work something out. It's not like an industrial process where I can pump out tons of these. They take like 53 minutes each to print out, but you know, maybe we could work something out if you really wanted to get some of these and you think this is a nice, elegant solution uh, to a problem that, that you might have as well. And I, I think it's wor working really, really well here. I made these so that they can accept any kind of a three quarter inch board, which is kind of a common uh, board size. Uh, I'm not sure how much weight they can take. I think you could probably probably put like 80 pounds of weight or so on there. Yeah, I'm not sure if it would last forever. Um, you know, if it was like that, I'm not going to do a pull up on that bar, but you know, they, they seem uh, pretty structurally uh, sound. I put a lot of plastic in here and try to reinforce it as best I could. The way you attach them is with uh, three screws, two at the top and two at the bottom. And I've got those kind of like countersunk uh, uh, so that the, the screw will be nice and flush if you put like a uh, one of those tapered head screws on there. Um, they obviously, they connect from both sides. You can just run them right down the shelf. This one goes to this one, goes to that one. Um, and I also made this extra feature on the bottom. I've got two screw holes so you can put screws in from the top. If you don't have a situation like I do where you have posts to attach these to, if you just had shelves, you could put this on your shelf and you could put two screws in to secure it that way. I think these work best though when they're kind of up a little bit. Uh, if they're really low, your food can kind of topple over the top of it. And that's why I have these set up a little bit. So they're right about in the, the middle of where all these uh, packages are. So that's what I want to share with you guys in this video. If you wanted to, uh, get the, this file so you can download it yourself and print as many as you like. Again, links down in the description below. I think it's always good to think about things that could happen, maybe that aren't even super common, but to at least have them rattling around in the back of your head. And I know for the past several years, I've been thinking about like earthquake solutions uh, for here, even though, again, it's not something that here in New England we tend to deal with very frequently. You know, it's it's just good to kind of keep your mind open those, to those types of things and maybe solve problems well ahead of them ever being a particularly high threat. That's it. And thanks for watching. Hey, YouTube preppers, if you enjoyed this video, here's another that I think you might like. But before you click on it, I wanted to take a moment to thank all the people you see on the right hand side of your screen. They help to support all the work that I do here over at patreon.com. If you'd like to join them and get your name added to the list, the link's below.